Gordon Muttall completed the 14th hundred of his first class career and his second of this season to keep his Durham side on top of Hampshire on the second day of the LV County Championship match at the Aegeus Bowl. Muttall began the second morning on a hard-working 85, which had helped his side make 278 for six on the first day of this important contest. And 35 minutes into the day, the 32-year-old was at three figures off 229 balls, from which he struck 10 fours. Given that he had come into bat with his side in some trouble on 91 for four, it had been a supreme effort from the batsman, one who obviously loved what he'd just achieved, and why not? Much all had turned this game around by adding 142 runs for the fifth wicket with Michael Richardson, and his stand for the seventh with Usman Arshad was to realise something similar. Arshad proving that it was a very good idea to include him in this team. Durham had to settle for three batting bonus points on reaching a total of 327 for six after 110 overs. This was Arshad's 14th first class match and his first since he headed to Lords in the Championship in early May. This boundary brought the 22 year old his seventh four to take him to what was just his second ever half century of 92 balls. It was just the innings his side needed from him after Jackson Bird had caused some problems with the second new cherry. These two had their partnership into three figures and it was eventually to go on to add 128 runs in 34 overs before Arshad on 60 edged Gareth Berg to James Vince, the batsman leaving with his team handily placed on 361 for seven. In spite of that loss, the morning session belonged to the batting team, John Hastings coming in and clearing the rope off Liam Dawson. Much all batted through the first couple of hours and by the time lunch was taken, he'd moved on to 140, made out of Durham's 399 for seven. On the restart, a big moment for debutant Mason Crane, the 18-year-old with his maiden first-class wicket, as Hastings was bowled for 22 at 409 for 8. Mutchell's near six-and-a-half-hour vigil was brought to an end in the next over, when, having got to 145, he was given out caught at short leg off Dawson, not that the batsman was too happy about the decision. There was time left for Chris Rushworth to slog sweep Crane into the distance, the young leggy getting through 24 overs for figures of 1 for 75. The innings was ended on 421 as Graham Onions picked out Bird in the deep off Dawson, Hampshire finally getting off the field after spending 132 overs to get Durham's 10 wickets. So often after spending that length of time grazing, wickets fall for the batting team and after Michael Carberry had played one of his trademark shots, Jimmy Adams was another leg before victim for the first division's leading wicket taker, Rushworth. Adams was out for five, leaving it to Carberry to dominate the early scoring, he making 33 of the 47 runs on the board, when Dawson was out for nine, gifting Hastings a wicket in his first over with a back-footed drive to Arshad. Ryan Pringle then had Vince edging to Paul Collingwood after making a speedy 19, he leaving with the score reading 68 for three. That had been lifted up to 80 for three at T. Carberry showing signs of returning to form with this pull six of Hastings, a shot the batsman has produced time and time again in his career. Carberry, who has, like too many of his teammates, been short of runs recently, would have been delighted to get to a 50 off 93 balls early into the evening session, his sixth half century of the summer. The former England opener, who's been batting at three for much of this campaign, had hit seven fours and that one six. As the rain clouds gathered, he and Will Smith had plenty of work to do to restore parity in this contest. These two did well in seeing out 17 overs together in total, adding 51 runs for the fourth wicket, but then the rain arrived 13 overs into the day's final session. And that was that for the day, Hampshire ending on 119 for three, which has them 302 runs behind. They need to avoid the follow-on and will look to Carberry on 57 and Smith on 27 to do the majority of the work to get that job done on the third morning.